So a term that is used a lot is the mechanics of the motion. And what this means is, what is the actual action that the body has to do to accomplish the exercise? Now, for us, a pull-up, the mechanics of the pull-up is starting from this position and pulling to this position. This is mechanics, so getting our arms to do this action is what we are trying to do. So regardless of the strength part of the exercise, we also want to make sure that we are doing this action correctly. Now, one of the extra things that we can do is practice the mechanics of the pull-up, but doing something which we call a negative. So let's have a look at that. With a negative, the point of this is to do the reverse action from what you would normally be doing. So with a pull-up, you start from the bottom and you pull to this position. With a negative, the idea is to start from the opposite position, so from the top, and go downwards. Now, the reason we do this is because what's going to happen is it is easier for us to start from the top and slowly resist gravity down. So gravity is doing the work of pulling our body down and we are resisting against it, okay? So to start with that, we are going to get into the top position on the bar. Now you can do this in lots of different ways. You can jump up from a wall, you can use a step ladder, whatever you need to get into the top position without having to do the pull first, totally up to you. I'm just gonna jump up into the position and start from the top position. So from here, you jump up and you're gonna slowly resist Resist, 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 all the way down to that dead hang position. So the point of the negative is we are trying to do the exact mechanics but in the reverse order, starting from the top and working downwards. This is going to be much easier than starting from the bottom in the dead hang position and pulling up. However, there are negatives and positives to this as well. Let's go into those. But let's look at some of the positives of this exercise. First off, you only need a bar, okay? So you only have to use a bar. You don't need any bands or any extra equipment to do the negative. So it is very, very open to all. The negative can be very useful to get used to doing the mechanics of the pull-up. Something else that is very, very good about this exercise is the negative is even though it's going in the reverse direction, you are doing the exact body mechanic of the pull-up. So you're going in the exact same path as you would be for a pull-up going upwards. You're just doing it in reverse. So this is very good for getting used to what it will feel like when you are doing the pull-up. This does have a few issues, however. One of which is a negative is not very scalable. You haven't got any other equipment other than the bar. It is easier than the pull-up, but it just means that it is one step easier than the pull-up. There are no other variables that you can adjust to make this even easier or slightly harder. So it is scalable. It does go down a little bit from the pull-up, but it is not scalable other than that. So one of the other negatives is that you are not doing any pulling. The actual pull, so this action, you're not doing. And actually what you're trying to do with a negative is resist and release slowly. And this unfortunately does not work all of the muscle groups that you require for a pull up. So the, you could do negatives a lot throughout your training but it is not going to particularly help with actually getting stronger with a pull. You have to do pulling to be able to get better at pulling, okay? So even though the mechanics of the negative means that you're gonna get used to the pathway that you're gonna be taking, it doesn't mean that you're gonna get stronger or strong enough to do the pull-up. Something else to be aware of is because this is not very scalable, something that 
tends to happen with those that are not used to doing it and they first get onto the bar to do the negative is the speed that you will drop. Now, if this speed coming down is too quick, what can generally happen is the person cannot hold the bottom position and they will jar their arm at the bottom. And we do not want to do this because what happens is the muscle is not engaged and you're going to be hanging on those ligaments. You're going to be hanging on the bits that you don't want to be. So when you come down, you don't want to go drop all the way to the bottom straight away. If this is happening, then it means that the person is not strong enough to do this exercise. And like I said, the scalable versions it means that this is probably not going to be the best one to be doing. Well, the negative is a good exercise for working the mechanics, but it is not very scalable. Now we can make that scalable by combining with the bands. So same thing, starting from the top, using the band means that when you are slowly coming down you're going to be working those pathways a lot lot better you it means you can go slower the band is going to be helping you more but you're still not doing the pulling and it means that you're still only working the mechanics so let's use the band and we're going to start from the top again from here and you can slowly lower yourself to the dead hang position. So now, using the band and the negative together, it means that it is a very scalable exercise. We can change the length of the band, the type of band, and go in the negative position. However, remember, you are not going to be doing any pulling with this exercise.